Hey everyone, this is the Jason J, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little um, keyboard for the new firmware of 3.1.2 uh, firmware of the iPod Touch second generation. This is all going to work with all the other devices. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need uh, a jailbroken iPod Touch, um, and you're going to need City installed. Once you jailbreak your iPod Touch, come back to this video. Alright, so basically, once you installed and jailbroken your iPod Touch, go ahead and open up your City application. And let it load. Um... I will come back once the my city is up and running because my city it takes a long time, so I will be back. All right, so once you open up your city, basically, in order for you to uh, get ISS is what we need. So in order to get it, you're gonna have to firstly do something. You're gonna have to go to sections, scroll uh, for you down, and look for repositories. So go ahead and click on repositories. And you want to search this. You want to search. Oops. You want to search StephWiz. Click on it and install it. All right. So once you install StephWiz, basically what you do then is go to your search bar, and you want to type in A L L space and a D S. O R and you want to uh, and you want to install all sources. All right, so once you install all your sources and you have all of that, basically go back to your search bar and you want to install this application. You want to type in I A C C and you want to install IS ISS OS3. Don't install the French one, only the one here, ISS OS 3. Alright, so once you install that, go back to your home screen of the iPod Touch. You just want to scroll over till you see the application, ISS. Now, once you first enter the application, a little pop-up message will pop up, and it will, uh, you uh, click OK, and it will just uh, kick you out, right out. Alright, so basically... Once it kick you right out, you want to respring your iPod. If any matter, just respring the iPod. And the way how you can respring your iPod is by yeah. So there, how you can respring your iPod is holding the power and the home button until you see this come up. And then go ahead and slide that. And uh, once you slide that, it will automatically respring the iPod Touch. And then hit the uh, power button again. Well, yeah, the power button. Bring your logo back up. Just let it respring. It might take some time. Alright, so once you get your home screen back, I mean your lock screen, basically what you want to go back into the ISS tab, uh, application. Hit OK, and you're in. Alright, so basically once you get the um, thing up and running, um, it won't kick you out anymore. All you have to do then is the things that you see switched on, you want to turn them off. So... You want to switch all these off.
and the only one you want to keep on is the top bar. Alright, so once you have that, basically you want to exit out. Alright, so this is a video on how to get the um, keyboard, the glow ne green neon keyboard for the iPod Touch or all devices, uh, firmware 3.1.2. And I have the link in the description over there. Um, so basically, go ahead and download that. Uh, once you download it, drop it into the uh, themes folder, open up window board, select it, um, and basically go back, scroll over, and then you'll see this keyboard. Well, I'm the Jason J, guys. I'll be coming back with some more videos. If you have any videos uh, that wants to be posted up, I will post them, and I'll make sure you get credit for it. I'm not just going to take anyone credit. But anyway, I'm the Jason J. Peace, man.